What are the strongest military vehicles in the Belarusian army? What tough machines are hidden in their arsenal? And can they survive against the most advanced militaries in the world? Today we'll answer all these questions, exploring the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the armed forces of Belarus. In this ranking, we'll focus only on land vehicles, so we won't consider their unmanned aerial vehicles, and obviously we won't consider warships. If you don't know, Belarus doesn't border the sea. But before we start our journey, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see other rankings like this. And let us know in the comment which country you think should be the next. And now, let's dive deep into the world of military technology with the first machine in our list. Number 10. Cayman The Cayman is a 4 y 4 armored reconnaissance vehicle developed by the 140 repair plant for Belarus's armed forces. First showcased at the Milex 2017 Defense Show, this versatile vehicle is designed for a wide range of missions, including reconnaissance, sabotage, patrol, and peacekeeping operations. Its design is distinctive, featuring a forward crew cab, a central troop compartment, and a rear power plant. Resembling the Fennec 4X4 vehicle, the Cayman can carry a crew of six, with easy access through side doors or roof hatches. It's equipped with a cooling system to operate in temperatures up to 122 degrees. While the dual heating circuit on the front shield prevents icing and fogging. Number 9. IMR-2M The IMR-2 is a Soviet and Russian tracked military engineering vehicle built on the robust T-72 main battle tank chassis. Developed in the 1970s and entering production in 1982, it was designed to replace the older IMR vehicles based on the T-54-55 tanks. The IMR-2 has seen extensive service, including in the Soviet-Afghan War, both Chechen Wars, and the Russian invasion of Ukraine. It was also used in relief operations following the Chernobyl disaster. Weighing around 97,700 pounds, the IMR-2 is a formidable vehicle, measuring over 31 feet long, 14 feet wide, and 12 feet high. It is crewed by two operators and offers protection against small arms, fire, and shell splinters. The vehicle is armed with a 12.7 mm NSV machine gun and is powered by a V12 turbocharged diesel engine, producing 840 horsepower, which allows it to reach the speeds of up to 31 miles per hour with an operational range of about 310 miles. Number 8. Brem K. The Brem K is a versatile, wheeled amphibious vehicle designed to provide technical support for units equipped with BTR-80 armored personnel carriers. Built as a derivative of the BTR-80, the Brem K is equipped with various tools and systems to conduct repairs, recover stuck vehicles, tow disabled vehicles on land and water, and offer round-the-clock technical assistance. The vehicle is equipped with a 7.62 mm PKT machine gun for basic defense. Its main features include a towing winch for pulling out stuck or sunken vehicles and a hydraulic support device to stabilize the vehicle during operations. The Brem K also has a turret-mounted crane with a hand winch capable of lifting up to 3,300 pounds, which is useful for assembling and disassembling components during repairs. Number 7. MTLB The MTLB is a Soviet-designed multi-purpose fully amphibious tracked armored fighting vehicle that has been in use since the 1970s. Originally developed to serve various roles, including as a light armored towing vehicle, the MTLB is known for its versatility and durability. It was also produced in Poland, where it received an upgraded six-cylinder SFW 680 diesel engine. Weighing around 26,200 pounds, the MTLB is 21 feet long, 9.5 feet wide, and just over six feet high. It can accommodate a crew of two, along with 11 passengers. The vehicle's armor provides up to 14 millimeters of protection, sufficient against small arms fire and shell fragments. For armament, the MTLB is typically equipped with a 12.7 millimeters NSV, or cord heavy machine gun, though it can also be fitted with a 30 millimeters AGS 17D or AGS 30 automatic grenade launcher, or even a 30 millimeters 2A42 or 2A72 autocannon. 
A secondary PKT machine gun is also standard, with 2,500 rounds available. Number 6. BRM-1 In the late 1960s, the Soviet Army sought a modern reconnaissance vehicle equipped with advanced electronic systems, leading to the development of the BRM-1. Based on the BMP-1, the BRM-1 was chosen for its amphibious capability, maneuverability, strong armament, and spacious hull. The project began at the Chelyabinsk Tractor Works and continued at the Kurgan Engineering Works, with the vehicle officially entering service in 1972 and production starting in 1973. The BRM-1 features a low-profile, two-man turret located at the rear of the hull and lacks the M3 autoloader and standard 9S428 ATGM launcher, although some units were equipped with the latter. Key upgrades include the PSNR 5K Tall Mic ground surveillance radar, a 1D8 laser rangefinder, a gyroscopic navigation system, and enhanced radio communication equipment, allowing for a radio range of up to 186 miles using a mast antenna. Number 5. BTR-80 The BTR-80 is an 888-wheeled amphibious armored personnel carrier developed in the Soviet Union and introduced in 1985, replacing the earlier BTR-60 and BTR-70 models. It first saw action during the Soviet-Afghan War and has since been a staple in various military forces. Weighing about 30,000 pounds, the BTR-80 is 25.3 feet long, 9.5 feet wide, and 7.9 feet high. It is designed to transport a crew of three, along with seven passengers. The vehicle's armor offers protection with 10 millimeters thickness on the hull and 7 millimeters on the turret, providing defense against small arms fire and shell fragments. The BTR-80 is typically armed with a 14.5 mm KPVT machine gun, though some versions feature a 30 mm 2A72 autocannon. For secondary armament, it carries a 7.62 mm PKT machine gun. The vehicle is powered by a 260 horsepower diesel Camaz 743 engine, giving it a power to weight ratio of 19 horsepower per ton. Number 4. 9K1 of Steer Sturm. The 9K1 14 Sturm, also known as the 86 Spiral by NATO, is a Soviet era semi automatic command to line of sight radio guided anti tank missile system. Developed in the 1970s, it was primarily designed to enhance the anti tank capabilities of platforms like the Mi 24V attack helicopter and the 9P149 tank destroyer based on the MTLB. The system was first deployed in the later stages of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, where it proved effective, achieving kill ratios of 75-85%. The missile, known as the 9MEM-114 Kokon, is launched from a glass-reinforced plastic tube using a solid rocket motor with a small booster. Unlike wire-guided systems, the Sturm uses a VHF radio command link, allowing for faster and longer-range engagement. The system includes a KPS-53 AV sight with an integrated laser rangefinder, enabling the gunner to maintain the missile on target until impact. The missile's trajectory is designed to fly above obstacles and descend onto the target just before impact, which can be adjusted for different combat scenarios. Number 3. 2S3 Akatsia the 2S3 Akatsia is a Soviet 152.4mm self-propelled gun developed in response to the American M109 howitzer. Entering service in 1971, the 2S3 was designed to provide mobile artillery support with significant firepower. The vehicle, weighing around 28 tons, is 27.7 feet long, 10.8 feet wide, and 10 feet high, accommodating a crew of four. Armed with a 152.4mm D-22 howitzer, the 2S3 Akatsia can fire up to four rounds per minute with a maximum range of 15 miles using rocket-assisted projectiles or 11.5 miles with conventional shells. It also has a 7.62mm remotely controlled PKT machine gun for secondary defense. The Akatsia is powered by a V-59 12-cylinder diesel engine producing 520 horsepower giving it a power-to-weight ratio of 18.9 horsepower per ton. Number 2. BMP-2 
The BMP-2 is a Soviet amphibious infantry fighting vehicle introduced in the 1980s, succeeding the BMP-1. Designed for both mobility and firepower, the BMP-2 has a combat weight of 14.3 tons and dimensions of 22 feet in length, 10 feet in width, and 8 feet in height. It is manned by a crew of three and can carry up to seven infantry passengers. The vehicle's main armament is a 30mm 2A42 autocannon, capable of engaging both ground and aerial targets. It also mounts the 9M11 Concur's anti-tank guided missile for dealing with armored threats. For secondary defense, the BMP-2 is equipped with a 7.62mm PKT machine gun. Powered by a 300-horsepower UTD 20 Honor 3 diesel engine, the BMP-2 has a power-to-weight ratio of 21 horsepower per ton, enabling a top speed of 40 miles per hour on roads and 28 miles per hour off-road. Its torsion bar suspension ensures stability over rough terrain. Number 1. T-72 The T-72 is a Soviet-designed main battle tank that began production in 1971 replacing the older T-54-55 series as a staple of Soviet armored forces. While the T-64 and T-80 were designated as high-tech tanks, the T-72 served as the more widespread workhorse, known for its balance of firepower, protection, and mobility. Over the years, the T-72 has seen numerous upgrades and variations, with the T-72A, T-72B, and T-72B3 being the most notable versions. Weighing in at around 45.6 tons, the T-72 is powered by a V92 S2F diesel engine, which produces 1,130 horsepower. The T-72 is equipped with a 125mm 2A46 M5 smoothbore cannon as its primary weapon, capable of firing a variety of ammunition types, including armor-piercing and guided missiles. And there you have it, folks. These were the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the armed forces of Belarus. Do you agree with this list? Let us know in the comment below. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep exploring and keep staying curious.